That's really interesting stuff. Thank you for reaching out to me. But I think Dean Carnegie would be a better person to go with you. I know AI is being seen as a solution to improve bias recommendations, and he's an expert in the area. I'm sure he'd be delighted to go with you. Are you serious? Katie, you know my mum. Does she know it's the 21st century? And no, her address is still care of the 18th century. Sorry, have you heard this? Just my victim want to marry her. <laughs> can you believe it? Yeah, sadly enough, I can. I've met her, Mum. With an arranged marriage? Are you Indian or something? If we park that one there for now, I'd be interested to hear more about what you think is your biggest business challenge right now. Well, what's really worrying for our business at the moment is the slow growth in online sales. I know they failed, but if you're not going to open them, what's the point? Jada, turn that camera off, babe. It's rude. Me and Daddy are talking. Joseph, do you want to clear up that crap you've got in a spelling out into the hallway? People can hardly get into the house through the front door. Joseph? Honey? Are you single? Yes. I might be able to provide you a bit more entertainment. <laughs> Wife, yeah, Sarah. So if she's not a problem, then you could... That's really interesting. I've been doing some research on how blockchain can be used to improve efficiency in supply chains. I'd be really happy to talk to Westman about it. Did you say the meeting is next week? I'll see you then. She hasn't had any feet for four and a half hours. I that can be good. I do understand your frustrations, Mrs. Cook. Jenny, I just had this horrid thought. Do you have any other kind? What if he falls in love with you and your mum goes on a full-on rampage to get you married to him? Are you trying to drive me insane? My nerves are already raw. We can let that happen. What are we going to do? Sammy, don't just sit there like a lump. We need a solution. I don't know. My mind's blank. Oh, I always suspected it. Oh, yeah. It's obviously based on me and Elliot. Oh, so loosely. Oh, not so loosely. Really specifically. Is that how you see us? Well, do I not accept gestures and feelings from people? Do I put people off? Well, it's a made up story. Not so made up, it's really exact. The situations, the dialogue, everything. It's full of intimate details between me and Elliot, which I don't know how could you possibly know about. And the conversation we had about an abduction. Garden party, let alone to a ball at Buckingham Palace. Edward was besotted with Wallace. Soon, this controversial relationship would threaten life at Buckingham Palace and the stability of the whole country. Wallace, this was the opportunity she'd been waiting for. If she could come back to England and wear all those royal jewels and have people bow before... Sally, I called the pub, the strip club and the casino. She's nowhere. How can we find her? Why? I thought she was sleeping off in the bedroom. No, no, she didn't come home last night. Oh, OK, well, um, <clears throat> call the police station as well, just in case. You remember the pineapple incident? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, OK, I'll call them.